really warm welcome to Urban Flower Collective. My name is Lisa, I'm your host here. Um, if this is your first tutorial, then a really warm welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. Um, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel, then you'll be first to see all the new tutorials um, that are being published. There's lots coming out in the, in the springtime, so uh, lots to look forward to. So today we're going to um, see how to make this um, lovely Jopsifila. So this is... Um, it's a, a really popular cake for weddings and lots of um, couples want to have these on the wedding cakes but it's it's an irritant it's it's um it's not it hasn't got the nicest smell either and personally i don't put any fresh flowers on cakes so i would make my own and it's really really simple it looks really effective you can use it in little clumps um so you could use just you know little bits here and there as filler flowers or you can branch it up like this and it makes a really nice statement with lots of this. Um, so I'm going to show you how to, to do it and it's, it's really quick and simple. We don't need much at all. We'll need a few um, dusts, just some greens and a brown just for the dusting of the branches. We need some 28, we need really fine wire here, 28, even 30 gauge would do, but I've got 28 gauge wire, some 24 gauge wire and some 22 gauge wire. Um, we also need a petal pad, some half width white florist tape, just some kind of pliers or tweezers, a pair of scissors just for cutting our wire, a tiny ball tool and a petal pad. Um, I've also got some dipping solution but you could use vodka or um, rejuvenator spirit just to make a little paint with our dusts. And then finally I don't have a gypsophila cutter but I just use this Wilton and it's a 2A Wilton pipe and tip. So you don't even need much equipment for this. So today I'm going to be keeping the paste white, obviously, because these are nice and white. Um, I mean, you can make them any colour you want if you want an impact, if you want to have a really modern looking cake. You could go red, pinks, blues, whatever, because you can spray these up with florist spray, um, the real plant. Um, but I'm going to stick to white today. So I'm just using my favourite Ultrafine, um, this is Ultrafine flower paste, it works well for my conditions, you use whichever paste you prefer. So I've already rolled it out, just it's a little bit boring watching me roll out paste, I've just got it in one of these plastic wallets. I would recommend getting one of these because they keep your petals nice and moist while you're working on them and because we're going to need a lot of petals for this, you know in this I think I've got about 80 um, petals in this, 75, 80 to get this effect. Obviously, if you're just using um, a few, then you don't need as many, but to keep them moist while you're working on them, use a, a um, petal protector like this. This has got two flaps that you can keep plenty of um, petals in. If you haven't got one of these, just a polythene document wallet would do exactly the same job, just to keep them moist while you're working on them. So that this is, I've got a pasta machine. I've rolled this out to, um, level eight on the part uh, level nine even on the pasta machine then i always give it an extra little roll i like things to be as delicate as possible and we're just going to go ahead and cut um actually i might even just cut it in here to save a bit of time so you might need to use your ball tool to get these circles out but we're just going to get some nice round cuts you could even go smaller than this i mean this is um a 2a walton tip if you've got a small circle cutter or a little um, like plunger cutter, you could even go a little bit smaller if you like. But bear in mind, the smaller you go, the more petals you're going to need. Um, so I'm going to do, I'll probably do eight for you here. I've made some already, so I can show you um, how to wire them up. So let me get rid of that. I'm going to put this in another petal pad, another petal protector. And then I'm going to bring my petal pad over and actually, because this is really quick, I'm going to do all of these at the same time. Obviously, I'll do them in batches of about 20 at a time. Keep the rest in the petal protector just to keep them moist while I'm working on them. And all we're going to do is take this small ball tool and if you haven't used a ball tool before, put half on the flower paste and half on the pad and just roll it round. And we're just going to roll it round to give it a frill. Now, this ultra fine behaves itself beautifully. It doesn't rip. Um, so you can see we just get a nice little frill on there. I'll hold it up so you can hopefully see it a bit better. Maybe hold it up to the front camera. So just a little frill. 
Um, so yeah, you can do this really quickly. You can get a production line going. You can have 20 of these on the pad at a time and just crack on with it. So this, as this paste is nice and moist, we don't need any glue or um, anything to stick these on. If, if your paste is a little bit more dry, then use a little bit of egg white or edible glue or even water just to, um, to hold them onto the wire. So I'm taking my 28 gauge wire and I'm gonna cut it into six because we don't need very long stems on this at all. Um, so there's six pieces. And then I'm gonna take my needle nose pliers or you can use tweezers, whatever, and just put a tiny little hook on the ends of these. This is just so it doesn't um, poke out of the flower once the flower's dry. Sometimes if you've just got a pointy end, it'll stick through. So I'm just gonna put a little hook on the end of each of these, which is pretty quick to do. And finally, you could use the um, holes in this petal pad, but you don't need to. I'm just gonna literally poke the um, wire right in the middle, in the center of this. I'm gonna fold it over, and then I'm gonna scrunch it up a little bit more, and just give it a little nip at the bottom, at the base. I'm gonna bring over a little polystyrene, um, piece of polystyrene to pop these into while they're drying off. So just poke it through, fold it in half, and just scrunch it up. Now there's no rhyme or reason here. You, you know, sometimes you can make it more like a ball. Sometimes you can leave it a little bit more open and that's the way um, real gypsophila is. So just give it a little scrunch up. So hopefully you can see the um, frilled edge. So I'm just gonna do that for all of these six. So really quick and easy. You know, you can get, if you've got kids, you can get those kids to do it. Uh, as long as they've washed their hands, obviously. I mean, no one's gonna eat this because it's full of wires. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little job. It's a good job to do if you're watching something on Netflix. Um, yeah, if you've got an audible book. So, you know, you need a lot of them, but it's, it's pretty easy. There's not a lot to it, but it looks really effective. So let me do two more and we'll finish these off. Two more pieces, one, two. And then I'm going to show you just how to wire them up. It's as simple as that. It's a really nice, quick little filler flower. Um, but as I say, the way we're doing it, it would make quite a statement on a cake. And I've actually got a dummy cake down here that I can show you what it looks like at the end. Um, they look great in the vase as well. Um, so just, you know, if you've got no flowers around the house, just stick these in the vase. Right, so that's... That's it, basically, that's all I'm gonna do with those flowers. What I'm gonna do now is just um, dust up these stems. Now, the reason I'm using white is so I can make the whole branch similar. You could use green wire if you want, but I wanna put a little bit of brown on there as well, and I wanna tape, tape it up. So what I'm gonna do is just pop these down. They dry pretty quickly, and they're not gonna come off these wires. Um, but as I say, if your paste is a little bit more dry, you might just want to um, put some glue, edible glue or egg white on there to help them stick. Just put a little dot in the middle, but you shouldn't need it. You really shouldn't need it. Um, I'm just gonna add a little bit of rejuvenate this spirit to my dust. And I'm using Moss Green by Fractal Colors here. And all I'm gonna do is paint this um, stem. Don't need to go all the way down to the bottom because it's going to be covered with the florist tape. Um, but yeah, I'm just painting this stem all the way up to the flower. Again, really quick to do. And if you look at a real um, branch, you know, I, when I was first making this, I went and bought a branch of Gypsophila from the florist just so I could see the way it was shaped and the way it was put together. Um, so the branch I made, as an example, I just literally copied from the real thing that I have in front of me. So that's that. I've made, in true Blue Peter style, I've made some earlier. So I've got a few more here. 
So I'm going to show you how to take these up while those ones are drying. So I've just got some half width um, florist tape just in white. And then this is where our 24 gauge wire comes in. It's a little bit thicker, but not too thick. We don't want these little branches that are coming off too thick. So if you can see the way it's taped up, um, it's got lots of li little um, flowers coming off, going on to bigger branches, and they all kind of go into one long branch. So we've got thicker branches coming off, but then thinner ones branching off again. So that's what we're going to try and do here. Now, the, the come in clusters. So to save time, I'm just going to put three or four, five, I, I like about six or seven together, and that gives sort of more of an impact. So this is why you need a lot of these. So I'm just going to tape six or seven to the very end of this 24 gauge wire. And I'm just going to run this half with the tape down a bit. I'm going to chop that off. And you can spread them out a bit so you can see each one. And then I'm going to do the same again with another bunch. So about six or seven together, just so you've got that impact. They're usually about the same height, but you can spread them out, make them a little bit higher or lower, depending on the look you want. Um, so my fingers are getting dusty here because you can see when the um, alcohol or the dipping solution or whatever you've used to paint evaporates, you're just left with the dust but it's just a quicker way to get the dust onto these um, stems. If you can't get them with your fingers, get your tweezers or your needle nose pliers just to spread them out. You could tape all the way up these um, flowers if you want. If you're entering a competition, you probably should. Um, and then just paint the, the tape. And I'm going to do the same again. Do a few more, and we'll get through these. So I'm the same again. Get some more tape. So we are just making a few little bundles here. Now, once we've got our bundles together, and spread these out. Like so, we're gonna to start to put these together. Now these branch off. So we need to leave a bit of a stem here. And we're gonna to start to take these together. Again, you just need half width the tape, otherwise everything's gonna get quite clunky. So taking those two together and I'm going to add this one a li little bit further down, I think. And just spread them out. So we've got three there. There's, I've got a few more that are taped up just for to demonstrate how we put these together. So same again, I'm going to make another little branch coming off here. More tape. So actually making the um, flowers is the easy bit, making the little petals is the easy bit. Um, this is the bit that's a little bit more time consuming. And yeah, be as creative as you want, you know, use pictures for inspiration, but you put them where you fancy. So there's another little bundle there. Now what I'm going to do is take some 22 gauge wire. I've taped one up already, I want it to be white. And I'm going to add this on the end of it. You could use the thicker wire now at this point, uh, the thicker tape at this point if you want. And then I'm just going to start to tape these onto the thicker wire. 
Now we want some twists and turns in this. They, they never stray. The branches are never straight. They're always a bit bent. So you put some twists and turns in however you feel they should be. And I've got another little one here that I've already taped up. And I'm going to bring that off. use some full thickness white tape so you can you get the the gist of what I'm doing here so we're just building this up into a nice branch so we could leave it at this or we could continue to add more on but just for quickness I'm going to leave it here like so So there are different heights, you can see lots of branches coming off, lots of nice little flowers on there. So finally, let me move this out of the way. The next thing I'm going to do, I'll bring some more paper over so you can see, is I'm going to take some more green because I need to paint the whole branch green. So because we've just put um, white flower paste on here I'm going to start to paint the rest of this branch green but then I want to add some brown to it as well because I want it to look a bit more natural I don't want it to look just green and the branches of the gypsophila are often turning brown in places maybe a little bit of yellow so just having this sort of patchiness makes it look a bit more realistic than just having if that if you just taped it up with green um, florist tape so, I might cut that end bit off because I probably don't want it that long, but I shall tape down at the bottom. Yeah, I shall paint right down at the bottom here. If you've missed any bits, just go back and do them at this point. And if you wanted to dust the little bases green, you could do that as well. Um, but I'm just conscious of time here you could add a little bit of green dust into the middles as well if you would like to missed a big bit there so we've got that mainly green and then finally I've just got that was moss green by the way purple colours now I'm going to just bring over um, some edible art brown suede any colour any brown would do and I'm just going I'm not going to wet I'm not going to make this into a paste, I'm just going to use this as a dust and I'm just going to brush over just a few little bits um, of the branch just to give it more of a woody feel. So just a little bit of dust on there, less is more, try not to get it on your flowers, we're just going to give that a dust and it just gives it a bit more of a realistic look. Remember both sides because you don't really know which way this is going to go. So, let me move this. There we have our gypsophila. Now if I add it to this one, maybe have it and this way we've got a really nice bunch here pretty easy pretty quick you don't really need a specific cutter for it you don't need any veiners for it um, and it looks great on a cake if I bring over a cake just to show you I've just got a plain green cake here and I think it looks really quite stylish just on its own but you can imagine that would look really nice in a in a um, cascade of flowers on a wedding cake it looks nice as fillers it looks nice anywhere just in little clumps 
So, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please, as I say, subscribe. If you want help with your um, sugar flowers, come and join us. I've got a free Facebook group called Urban Flower Collective. You're very welcome to join there. Just um, request to join and I'll just let you in if you've done one of these tutorials. If you need help with your cake business, then Urban Cake Collective is the place for you. It's a lovely support group and I'd be happy to see you there too. So thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.